Hi again, Ryan Shrout from PC Perspective here, and today we have a brand new graphics card that is going to be burning up wallets for a cool 1200 bucks. The ASUS Ares is a dual GPU graphics card really built for the extreme enthusiast, if you couldn't tell based on the pricing. We actually got our first glimpse of this card at the ASUS ROG Summit back in April, and we're just now finally getting our hands on with the retail unit. Now, if you buy one of these cards, it's going to come in this box, which is about the size of a small suitcase. And inside that box, you will find this briefcase it has all the contents including the graphics card adapters power connectors and documentation all right here you can see the aries card is well protected in this kind of custom foam case here it is a very heavy graphics card heavy copper heat sinks uh, also included in the box is an rog asus usb mouse uh, you've got a case badge HDMI to single link DVI passive adapter. You also have a pair of six pin PCI Express to eight pin PCI Express adapters since the card does require two eight pin power connections. And you also have a crossfire cable here in case you want to connect another 5870 or 5970 or Aries card, whatever you want to do there. And then underneath the graphics card, you have all of the documentation, the driver CDs, how to change the lock on your new briefcase. Uh, and that pretty much is everything inside. The Ares card is built around a pair of true Radeon HD 5870 GPUs, not 5850s like the Radeon HD 5970 card. And each has 1600 stream processors. The GPUs are clocked at 850 megahertz core and 4.8 gigahertz GDDR5 memory speeds, and each GPU has access to two gigabytes of frame buffer for a total of four gigs on this card. The Ares has a single dual link DVI output, a DisplayPort connection, and an HDMI connection. The card will support up to three 1920 by 1200 or 1080p displays for Ifinity, though you are not going to be able to run three 30 inch displays because of the HDMI ports limitations. Single display 2560 by 1600 gaming won't be a problem. The card requires a pair of eight pin and a single six pin power connectors to run properly, even though it won't pull that much more than a single GTX 480 from Nvidia. ASUS is hoping to create very stable card this way and leave some room for overclocking. The Ares is designed to be enthusiast friendly and very overclockable. Using the Smart Doctor software, ASUS has seen overclocks on the core speed approaching 1 GHz by increasing the voltage of the GPU to about 1.275 volts. We will be testing that to see what limits we can reach as well. The card is also easy to take apart with just a couple dozen screws to get out of the way for those users looking to apply their own thermal compound or maybe go for some more exotic cooling solutions. I can already hear the LN2 guys drooling over that. The fan on the Ares pushes 600% more air through the copper coolers than the stock heatsink while offering sound levels lower than that of a single HD5970. If it all sounds too good to be true, it shouldn't based on the price. ASUS is only going to be making a thousand of these limited edition graphics cards and they're going to run about $1,200 a piece. That's a lot of money for any single graphics card, but considering that two gigabyte versions, versions of the Radeon HD 5870 run you about $499 a piece and single GPU versions of the GTX 480 from Nvidia run about $479 a piece, a pair of each of those is going to be about $1,000. Now we're only talking about a $200 premium for the card. Uh, considering the overclocking headroom and the cooling capacity and the noise levels of it, maybe that's something you're willing to swallow if you already know you're going to be going for an ultra high-end enthusiast solution. Now we have more benchmarks, testing, and analysis at our full review at PCPer.com, the UR URL of which is appearing below me right now, so be sure to check that out for the, all of the details on the new ASUS Ares graphics card. For now, I'm Ryan Shrout for PC Perspective. Thanks for watching.